Our next guest has been called the infomercial queen. And now, number one, best-selling author Kathy Mitchell. She is the face of advertising for houseware products that are made to make your life easier. She has a new cookbook called Red Copper Skillet Cooking. Kathy, who's also part of Bulbhead.com, where you can get this book, joins us now with more on it. And she's promised to feed us. This is great. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. You look like you need to be fed, right? Oh, oh we do. The whole city needs to be fed at this yeah. point. Yes. Absolutely. Great Absolutely. Yes. Uh, well, I was really enjoying your as seen on TV necklace that oh, you were wearing. Thank you. Oh my when, goodness. Yes. When you walked in, <laughs> oh, plated gold is beautiful. I love that. How did you become the infomercial queen? Well, you know, I've been making infomercials since 1989. And and I've, uh, I've watched many of them. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the funny thing is, though, unless I'm standing behind a stove, most people don't recognize me. <laughs> so I got this as a public service. So when people are going, do you work at the bank? I, they, then they see the necklace and say, the oh, you're glimmer. a TV lady. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, really, you've been, you've been preparing your whole life for, 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 for cookbooks, and you, you've I have. released some in, in the past. Mm. You have this new one now called Red Copper Skillet Cooking. Let's talk about this and, and, the, and the cookware behind it. This is the Red Copper Square Dance Pan, which is absolutely my favorite square of dance. the square Red dance. Copper line because, you know, square pans make so much sense. Mm -hmm. And nobody ever ha had one. Go to a, a cookware store, they don't have a square pan. Mm -hmm. And yet, if you think about it, when you're cooking burgers or sandwiches, French toast, something like that, you've got four squares. There's so much surface area Actually, that gets lost right. in the exactly circular right. pans. Absolutely right. Huh. Absolutely. So what I'm, I'm going to make you a couple of things today. Uh, these, are, these are a recipe in the book. They're called potato pancakes, and it's so, so easy. It's some shredded potatoes, a couple of eggs, a little bit of flour, mm -hmm. and some diced ham or some sausage or some bacon, whatever you like. I just use my little cookie thing, and I'm going to pop it right in here. Now, my butter is probably a little bit brown, but you know what? It's going to make it taste even better. It's like <laughs> a piece of brown <laughs> butter. Uh, Pancakes. Butter has hey, never made things worse. I was going to say, the Absolutely. key is it's butter. Whether it's a little burnt or not, it's butter. Now, I'm just going to scoop four of them in there. And as you can see, because of its, its square, it's perfect for, uh, for something like that. And what oh. you want to do is just kind of take a fork and kind of smash them down so that they're, uh, they're even and they'll cook evener. And at this point, you could have added anything you like. If you want some green onions, if you want some jalapenos, yes. if you want some green peppers, bell peppers. That's how I write my recipes, without a lot of seasonings and a lot of additives, so that you can take it and say, this is a good basic recipe, let me go from there. So when these are turned over and done, it takes about four minutes aside. This is what you're going to have, these beautiful, crispy potato patties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. going to put that on a plate for you. Mm. And, you know, I like them with a little dollop of sour cream. My husband likes them with uh, ketchup. <laughs> I do too. Guy. That's, I would love but, ketchup but he, on there. And he also likes it with gravy. If there was, oh, you're taking three, Nick? Well, now? you know, I'm hungry. Right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Hey, how'd you get three? So, uh, Kathy, you have so many recipes. I'm looking through the book right now in here. All of them are, are, are kind of made with these pans in mind? Well, they're, they're made with any, you can use it in any pan. But okay. I tend to prefer this one because it cooks so beautifully without any fats or oils. If you want to add a little butter for flavor like I did with those, go oh. ahead and do it. But you don't need to. And also because of the handle, they are oven safe. And a lot of the recipes start on the stove oh. and go in the oven. And you know, this might be the only pan in the world that's a baking pan with a handle. Much easier to get your biscuits in and out of the oven Excellent. in, in mm -hmm. a pan with a handle. Now right here I'm doing another one of the recipes which is called uh, cinnamon apple supreme something like that and what it is you just cut up an apple look how easy cut up an apple throw it in a little bit of butter saute it till the apples kind of tender add a little bit of brown sugar oh. some cinnamon oh, yes. add some nuts you like walnuts you like pecans whatever you like and then add a little apple juice. So Kathy, I found this recipe. It's on page 99, sauteed apple It's the apple first supreme. delicious dessert. That's how you know it's good. This right. is responsible for the amazing smell in the studio. Right. Apple and cinnamon. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Exactly. And These you know, you never just, be apart. You let those simmer for a while, and then you are the judge of what you want to put it on. If you want to grab a bowl right there, I've got some <gasps> frozen oh. pound cake. Oh. How easy is that? My nice. first. That I just cut up with a, and into little cubes. But you know, you can serve it on ice cream. You can serve it in a bowl with whipped cream on oh. top. You've got those nuts, that cinnamon frosting mm. stuff. Oh, it's just so delicious. So fast, so oh, easy. Your kids can make it. If that you can peel is an apple. So good. Isn't that good and so simple and, you know and so easy. It's one of those great desserts where, I mean, half of it is fruit, so. Exactly, gosh, so it's healthy. It's good for and you, you notice this pan, nothing sticks. Even brown sugar and sticky cinnamon brown sugar, nothing sticks to the pan. Kathy, I'm this so smells so mm. good, I dropped my fork on the floor and I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. 
<laughs> that was fantastic. Oh, Sean, you're all oh, class. I'm so, you know, yeah. at the very least. Can I, I was going to jump in when, she, when you said nothing sticks to it. That's one of the biggest questions when it comes to pans. I know, I okay? know. Can you talk a little bit more about the coating and the, your experience of cooking in this pan? This is a wonderful ceramic copper coating. It has no PTFA, bows or PFE, whatever that is, things that'll kill your pan. None of the bad stuff. Much, None yes. of the bad stuff. Okay. So you can cook on high heat. Great. When you're done cooking, you can just take, take a, a, a paper towel or something, and let me see if I can show you on this one, that you can see it just wipes clean. Nothing sticks to it. So I don't have to sit there over the sink right. and soak it. Right, so this is not a pan you put in the sink and, and soak because mm. this is a pan you will grab and use. I have three of them just because, oh, and yeah. sometimes all three of them are on the stove. You, bacon, <laughs> because it's square. It cooks bacon perfectly. It's yep. perfect for eggs. It's perfect for hash brown potatoes. I grab this pan first all the time because it doesn't ever have a cleaning problem. Mm -hmm. It cooks beautifully. It goes in the oven. It's just the best pan well, I've ever used. We've mm. all used that typical nonstick oh, stuff yeah. where you're going to take the eggs off and all of a sudden there flakes yeah. off all the black stuff that ends up going in the eggs and you end up eating yeah, it. Yeah, you're telling your family mm. it's pepper. And, and then they're, they're calling you Teflon <laughs> Sean, but you're actually made of Teflon. Yeah, that's not good. Exactly you shouldn't be eating right. that stuff. Uh, where do we get our hands on this stuff? Well, it's available in a lot of the stores, Walmart and Kohl's, and, and uh, a lot of the stores carry oh. it. Also on bulbhead.com. Mm -hmm. That's bulb, like I just had a great idea, <laughs> head.com. And look, your face my is on face the label. On, yes, get the one <laughs> with oh my, my gosh, face. Look for Kathy. <laughs> That's so cute, honey. And also, oh I God. brought our brand newest product along oh. with a red copper flip witch, which again, when you see how I made these, I could just as easily have made those in the flip, which made one great big one. No but kidding. that's great for making quick sandwiches and stuff, and that's our newest product. Very cool, I love uh, it. Kathy, it's great having you. It was great to be here. You guys are so much fun. Well, you're delicious. fun yourself. You should be jealous at home, frankly. Mm. Get a taste of something good. Mm. With Kathy's brand new cookbook, yeah. it's called Red Copper Skillet Cooking. It goes perfect with your Red Copper Skillet, skillet Cookware. You want to learn more, bulbhead.com is the place, bulbhead.com proud sponsor of the morning.